To get a winning gambit, the most important thing is to get ahead as early as possible. That will give you a lot more flexibility towards the end of the match and also could potentially cause members of the enemy fire team to leave, which would help you out also. To do that, you need to master what I call the gambit loop, and I'll talk about that here in a second. First off, at the very beginning, you're gonna wanna be as aggressive as possible for grenades and weapons, special weapons, things like that, and don't worry about who gets moats. Again, all of you are trying to get moats because ultimately, it's about getting as many blockers as quickly to the bank as possible. So judge where the other team is, but try to get to 15 moats as quickly as possible. Again, don't worry about getting to the bank first, because once you get to the bank and you actually put two blockers on, you can actually drag down the moats from the other team and, and transfer them over to yours. So actually, it doesn't matter if you get there first. At this point, if no one else is in the position to actually bank, then what you want to do is a couple things. One, you can grab the heavy if you're planning to invade, and also go into a defensive posture near your, your bank. The primary reason for that, if you put one blocker down right now and it gets taken away, you lose the advantage of putting two to three to four blockers we can actually stymie the other team's bank and can also allow you to drain moats from the other team's bank. Now, while keeping the bank clear, which is your goal during this period, wait for your teammates to show up and you should be able to put three to four blockers on the enemy's bank. The other team will go into panic mode to clear their bank because they are losing moats or they will not pay attention and work on collecting moats. Regardless, now it's the time to invade immediately while there is either confusion on the other side or a lot of unbanked moats to take out from your enemies. When you invade, prioritize taking out folks with lots of moats. If everyone is on the bank, that should be easy. And by taking defenders off the bank, you prolong the period where you can drain moats. Otherwise, head out and go after the team aggressively using supers, heavy, whatever you have available. Again, keeping a team down early is critical in Gambit as it gives you more time to work on the boss later. Normally by this time, if you come back from your invasion, there's a high value target that should be available. And at that point, they'll start out further away from the bank, but they'll work their way towards the bank. So you should have time to be able to take out the high value target and at the same time be able to defend the bank because at this point your other advantage is not to allow the other team to overwhelm your bank and drain moats back the other way. So once you do that you'll get 10 to 12 moats you'll be able to send a mid-tier blocker to the other side. So again at this point you should be considerably ahead of your opponent in number of moats. You should have a number of blockers hopefully on their bank at least one if not more and at that point that's where you can take the risk go ahead and invade again. Again if you're worried about the other team having a lot of moats that they can bank and re-blocking your bank, don't invade. But if you don't, go ahead and invade. And basically, even if you don't get the folks with a lot of moats, which you should try to do, the big goal here is to sow chaos so it slows them down so your team more blockers in and can finish up and get the primeval. By this time, if your team is doing your job, you'll have the primeval up. And at that point, it's just go through, kill the primeval. Pretty simple. So again, I hope you find this video useful. If you did, Feel free to like the video, jump into my Discord, or subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.